Hello, welcome back to another episode of SEO God. This is Marshall Adler. I'm the host and founder of iRankFast.com and Sky High Media here in Colorado. And I am an SEO expert, namely a local SEO expert. However, I am focusing this channel on training people on every feature on the Jaxi Keyword Tool because I love this platform so much. This has helped me become one of the top SEOs in the country, um, helping clients all over the world. It has been a spectacular journey. And um, here in the US, I have you know about 60 active clients and uh, it is pretty remarkable what I've been able to do for them and, and in such a short period of time. So what I aim to teach people on this channel is not just how to use the keyword tool, you know, just to promote it, but also then once I've trained you on how to use it, then we'll start looking at advanced techniques for how you can tap into hidden kind of markets in organic, you know, on Google and uh, rank content that drives that traffic right to you and gets that, you know, turned into conversions or sales or whatever that you want to have happen on your website. So um, moving forward from yesterday, I introduced this tab here, the keywords tab. If you didn't see that video yet, go back and watch it. Give all my videos a thumbs up if you can. Positive comment would be great. I love questions, Q and A. Uh, and if you want me to research for you, give me a niche and a region or a town, and I'll tell you what's available. I'll give you at least you know ten keyword phrases that I have qualified. You know from the video I showed yesterday, and um, you'll be good to go. At least you'll get a head start that way. And I'll do that for any of my listeners. So just post in the comments and, and there you go. And uh, as a bonus for anyone who downloads my, um, well, okay, so there's a lot of things you can do now. A link in the description shows a link to um, my website where you can download our on-page SEO checklist. And that allows you to basically make sure your pages are perfect at all times. And then basically, you know, ensure that it's going to have perfect SEO with the keywords you find. Okay. Um, at the bottom or the last page of that SEO checklist is a special bonus for anyone who signs up for Jaxi. Every 30 days that you stick with the tool, I will help you with indexing and, ba and building backlinks to your content through my company. Okay, so um, it, it is a win-win because I'll match you. Every 30 days you stick with the tool, I will match you in building backlinks to your content for it to get indexed and for it to rank. Okay, so it's a win-win. So anyway, today we're talking about Alphabet Soup, this particular feature. Now, Alphabet Soup is kind of a weird term overall, but really what it means is that you're about to experience every single possible way that a person has searched in the market for a particular niche or for a particular you know, service or a solution or, or whatever, or product. And this is great for marketers, affiliate marketers, you know, anyone building a website or a content-based website and they're looking for a way to like saturate the market. You want to see every single which way a phrase is being searched. And then obviously you still have to do the criteria searches that I showed you. You need to have real, you know, search on it, real traffic potential, um, a low competition rating, you know, green lights, etc. on the keywords platform. But, you know, this is where you can brainstorm a lot better than over here. And we'll get into that in a future video. But um, I don't know why they even have this brainstorm tab. I mean, this is all you really need is alphabet soup. So um, let's say, let's go over to the picker wheel, okay? And uh, we're going to go ahead and just spin it. And remember to g give me your categories and we'll be happy to add them. All right. Cool. So I'm going to choose, like, say, divorce law. Because I always love working with divorce lawyers. And um, let's say, let's go back to the wheel here and let's open 
um, locations. Okay, and let's. This is the top ten locations in the USA. Okay, if you'd like to add your location, just post it in the comments, and I'll post it in there, and we will um, hopefully hit it one day on the spin. Okay, and we'll do some research there. So let's see what we can find. Where is our location going to be? Boom! Home, baby. Denver. All right. So Denver divorce law. So we need to basically do some research in Denver for divorce law. Okay, so let's let's look over here. And so wh whenever I do alphabet soup, I never type in more than two words because I want it to basically fan out to every which way this has ever been typed out. So I'll do Denver divorce. That's it. Now this would be for a marketing person or even a divorce lawyer who is interested in his or her own you know, content and marketing it and how to find the keywords that are best. Remember that in a lo local market, you ideally want to go after anyone searching four or more words at a time, four plus words at a time, because those users have already done their research. They know exactly what they want. They're going to Google, they're typing out you know, a long tail phrase to explain who they want to work with and, and what location, okay? If you put content in front of those people, this is how you get the traffic of the motivated user who wants to call you with a case, okay? And it's great for marketers to understand that this is how you, you know, can find every which way that this phrase has ever been, been searched. Okay, now remember, you're going after four or more words, okay? So like this phrase. Now, what I do is I never click with the mouse on the left click because then you go away from this. And going back to this starts it all over again. So what I recommend is you right click on search on this and click on open link and new tab. Okay. And then I just keep going down here. How to stop a divorce in Denver? No. I, I, I don't know any lawyer who would ever want to rank for that. I mean, I don't know any divorce lawyer who would ever want to rank for that unless they see some back-end cash flow on, on a case there. I don't know, but... You know, most lawyers are like, hey, you do whatever you're planning to do, and this is what I offer to help you mediate, moderate, or um, stay protected, okay? I like this one, aggressive divorce lawyers, Denver. Ooh, who would ever type that? Someone who's, you know, probably got some cash flow and they're looking to get aggressive. I like that. Divorce attorneys, Denver, Colorado. Let's look at that. Divorce attorney, we'll look at that. Look at this. Okay, so what I do is I open up a bunch of terms. Now, I'm not going to go down the whole entire list, okay? But this is basically what, how you can do, you, you can, oh my gosh, you can get the biggest, most massive keyword list in the world if you take about two hours and focus and do it like this. Because what I'm doing here is I find the ones that have four or more words. I right click, open them up. As you can see, a lot of them don't have, you know, any search at all, you know. But what I do is I just, I narrow things by QSR. And then I look, oh my gosh, look at this. Denver divorce attorneys, men, four word phrase representing 24 people a month who are searching five people a month who drop by a person's page. And these five people are extremely motivated to act. And look at this. There's quoted search results. The number of competing websites ranked on Google for this phrase is zero. See, we just found a hidden market by using alphabet soup. We literally just found a hidden market. This is beautiful. Okay. Um, KQI keyword quality indicator shows that these five people are going to land on your site every month or on that page every month that's ranked page one and they're going to convert. Okay. So this is good data to give your clients, um, and good data for the client. KQI again is keyword quality indicators where the chances these five people will convert. The tool says great because the ads that people are paying for this phrase with pay, pay per click ads are follow you deep into organic search pages like past page three and no one goes that far. So for people to throw their ads that far out for and pay for that many impressions, well, it's only because they know that getting the traffic is profitable. Okay. 
SEO says that, you know, the higher the score, the more likely we'll rank for this keyword on the first page. 100%. Why is it 100%? Because there's no competition. There's nobody correctly optimized for that particular phrase. However, per provided you download my SEO checklist and follow it to a T, you might have the potential of ranking for that term. So, yeah. Let me know what you think of that approach. Now let's go on to the next phrase that I opened up. See, aggressive divorce lawyers Denver was searched maybe less than 10 times in the last month, but I don't want those people, okay? Again, I wanna narrow the QSR to under 50 and look for something cool, okay? Best divorce lawyers Denver, that might be kinda cool. Best divorce lawyer Denver. I like this better than lawyers. Here's why, because lawyers is still more broad these are people looking for reviews, people, you know, people, but anyone who shows up organically for that particular phrase, best divorce lawyer Denver, is truly going to stand out, okay? But this is even better too. Divorce lawyers Denver area, oh my gosh. Now, even though this is broad, you still wanna show up for this. Why? Because it gets 24 searches a month on average. A page one ranking would give someone five people that are motivated to take action of some kind. Most lawyers have the proper setup where it's like, you know, putting your, your email and we'll get right back to you, putting your name and email and, and a quick, you know, drop down a, and option of what is your case about and we'll get right back to you, something like that. That usually is what works the best instead of call now or, or you know, fill out this really long patient, patient form or whatever it is. Um, not patient form, sorry, case form or whatever. So, um, but if, but we can work on that. For now, this is amazing. We found this hidden market here, another hidden market, Divorce Lawyers Denver area, five traffic a month that would be motivated to act and get this. Zero. There's not a single person on the entire internet that is optimized correctly for that phrase, which means five people a month are falling by the wayside with no solutions. Do you see the opportunity here? It is mind blowing what you can do with keyword research. You can seriously find these hidden markets. Divorce lawyers, Denver area. So then, you know, KQI obviously is saying, of course, you're going to get some great, you know, cash flow from this. And that's great. As long as you have a good quality page and you've optimized it per at least to the basic standards of my SEO checklist. Again, that link is in the description below. SEO, okay, saying what are the chances you're going to rank page one? 100%. Why? Because there's not a single person that you have to worry about in competition land, at least per this particular phrase. And again, why? here's how you can prove it. You can go to Google. All right, good, good. Let's see, okay. And then put quotes around it first to see how many, you know. Oh, exactly, look. This is asking how many sites exist with this phrase on it and this written like this. And if you look right here, about zero results. But yet there's people advertising all over the page. That should tell someone that this is profitable. Nobody would advertise for a phrase and put their names out there like that unless they are you know making money off conversions so this is just an, a, a perfect organic opportunity for someone to slide right in with content and take market share it's just that that is profound let's move on to the next one wow okay so this one divorce attorneys denver colorado <clears throat> this is pretty good. Divorce attorneys in Denver, Colorado, same amount of traffic, just adding the in. Um, a little bit less competition, but I really don't care. If it's under 25, okay, so initially I look for under 50, right? But if it's under 25, that's like half the effort for anyone in marketing land. So this is really good, but we want to narrow the QSR. It's the number one thing you always want to do, okay? Now, this is another hidden market right here. Anytime you hit a QSR of zero, that then you found a hidden market where you could literally put content up and slap another X to your bottom line of traffic and overall conversions and be the number one ranked asset on Google for that phrase. Everyone else would fall in under you, okay? So keep in mind, these are hidden markets, okay? Um, but then as you move into competition with actual competing sites, that's good. You want to go after these kind of things. QSR4 is like a no-brainer, 
right? Affordable Divorce Lawyers, Denver, Colorado. Wow. Anyone who types that out is extremely motivated to take action. They're just, you know, they know exactly who they want to work with. And all you have to do is show up with content that matches what they just said. And if you look on this page, okay, Affordable Divorce Lawyers, let's look for that, okay? No, no. Affordable Divorce in, no. Cheap, nope. Nope, 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 nope. So basically I'm saying nope because it does not say the actual words, Affordable Divorce Lawyers Denver, Colorado. It does not say that in anyone's title, which means you could probably slide into page one, spot one. Now let's confirm by seeing how much, you know, phrase match, you know, assets exist on, on Google. There's four assets. What did the keyword tool say? There's four assets. So it looks like they're in, in tune today which is great. So again, if it's under 5,000 assets, it'll take you about a year. If it's under a thousand, it'll take about, you know, six months. If it's under a hundred assets, you'll, it'll probably take three to six months. If it's under, you know, a hundred, if it's under a hundred assets, like if it's under 50 assets that exist for, um, any key phrase you find that's four words or more for a local market, you grab it because that's just, that's where you want to play. That's just where you want to play. Okay. The market is not too saturated. There's still, you know, a lot of new interest there and that's what you want is the new tap, the new interest markets. Okay. Um, so this is good. Criminal attorneys, Denver, Colorado. I'd go after best divorce attorney, Denver. So you see anything with under 50, you could really go for it. But then it starts to get a little, little crazy right here. There's 52 competing websites to pick up only nine traffic. No, thank you. I'd rather, you know, move off to another phrase. I'd rather go after divorce lawyer in Denver CO, which would give me two more visitors per month, but only compete with half of the total competition that would stand in my way. You see what I'm saying? That's the mentality you have to have is you have to look at it and go, okay, I, I really, I want to pick up at least 10, 11 hits, you know, per month by ranking page one organically for content, but I can't, I got to stay under that 50. And if I can get under 25, that's the true ideal scene, true ideal, ideal scene. Obviously you want a green light, a great chance of, of conversion and you want 95% or better on SEO to column for it to be a beautiful, you know, a market kind of dominating keyword phrase to take over. And it's just a bonus if you see the dot com available because you could buy it, you could go after it if you're the, a lawyer in Denver and that could just be another domain you own. Um, but it's not going to help you much in SEO land. It will, however, um, make you money just knowing that the dot com is available. It's still new. Like it's a lot of people are still, this is a new phrase. Okay, so this is cool because if it wasn't new, then the dot com would would be purchased already. Okay, so again, prove that you know you can put content on page one first before you actually go write content. Now look, this particular phrase has a thirty six dollar and sixty eight cent cost per click. Okay, and and I get special access to this data. Okay, three hundred and ninety. Okay volume a month is what you would rent what you would get to your site and traffic if you just rank somewhere up in here organically okay now all we have to do is see less than 5,000 assets by going like this in title oh my gosh there's only seven results so yeah you could pretty much slide into page one spot eight in the next 30 to 90 days with great SEO, you know, like doing my on page SEO checklist and then, you know, let's say signing up for 30 days on Jaxi and then I build backlinks to your content and then it ranks. So it, that, it would be that simple. It could be a perfect, you know, collaboration because I've never I've never wanted to rank content so much as, as right now, like internally I'm, I'm saying dollar signs because you know, I've, uh, most divorce law cases, 
have a retainer of anywhere from you know five thousand to you know fifteen thousand something like that to get started and it, and it can go a lot higher as more and more stuff comes up depending on how long the whole divorce takes etc um and how you know uncontested or contested each side each party is in the whole process so anyway um i can tell you right now that uh that is pretty remarkable someone could just slide in right away on page one spot eight start picking up an extra hmm, 11 people a month that want to take action that is pretty amazing now imagine if i was your seo guy and i was doing 200 phrases a month for you i'm sorry 200 phrases overall for you and you're ranking page one for say half of those phrases then um you know you're looking at a thousand visitors a month that are all motivated to convert at, even if you convert it, say the minimum, which it would be 5% at that point, um, that's a lot of cash flow. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot for a divorcer. That's a, that's six figures a month. So yeah, I love, I love the keyword research because this, this is what you can do for your clients is you can literally find the hidden markets that, that, you know, they're paying for in ads, but once you rank for organically, you don't have to do ad pay anymore. You can stop paying for ads. You can save money because you rank organically naturally because you're there because you're popular and you're relevant and you have the best answers. Okay? So let's move on. Last couple phrases I opened up. Divorce attorney, Denver, Colorado. 48 searches a month. You'd get nine traffic if you rank page one for that one phrase. And this is monthly. But there's 52 people in the market I'd have to go up against. No, thank you. Dropping it down. We found this hidden market from before, but bankruptcy attorney, criminal, best Denver, best divorce attorney, Denver. I like this because if it's not plural, it's someone who is tired of seeing all these plural listings and they really just want to see some individual divorce attorney in Denver who titles himself that way. So um, this is great. This is someone who's sophisticated. They, they want to act now, but they're tired of seeing all the plural listings. So I, I don't blame them. Best divorce attorney, Denver, 48 searches a month. Page one would send nine, nine traffic people that are motivated to act, which is not much, but if you add it into 200 so or so phrases that I would do for uh, a client, especially with alphabet soup, guys and girls, we've literally only scratched the surface. I mean, look, I've, I've gone on a, a long horizontal scale showing tons of key phrases and hidden markets and stuff, and we've only just started. You know, this is literally A, okay? Now, look at all how many options we have, and they're all long tail, and it goes down the alphabet forever, okay? Guys and girls, marketers alike, this is what we need is Jaxi because you can spend forever in here. You can get millions of ideas. You can literally dominate markets with SEO if you know what you're doing. So um, that is the end of the video, Alphabet Soup. It really is the number one way to go vertical and wide and get every single key phrase you could ever think of that anyone else has ever typed out then go over to the keywords column, verify the criteria that we're looking for to rank content quickly uh, with great optimized content and best answer quality, you know, um, guidelines, everything done perfectly for Google. Um, this is the best answer. I mean, alphabet soup is where you really start to dominate and take market control because you'll always have every phrase ever typed for your niche or for what your client's niche is. So give this video a thumbs up, positive comment. If you're new here, turn on that red bell notifications and I will be back again with more great features within the Jaxi tool. And look in the description below for a link to the SEO checklist I keep mentioning and uh, more cool stuff. Thanks so much for watching, cheers.